Rahm Emanuel, who was the mayor of Chicago for many years, who uh, basically helped cover up the fact that one of his police officers shot a 17-year-old black kid 16 times and covered it up so he could win re-election. Rahm Emanuel, who, while mayor of Chicago, po poverty went up. Uh, the most amount of people ever in Chicago's history fled Chicago. Uh, you had him gentrify the whole place and make it beautiful for the wealthy and uh, upper middle class, that downtown region that he sunk money into while he left the rest of Chicago. While he left the rest of Chicago to rot. So Rahm Emanuel uh, went on uh, a Sunday show yesterday and said this. And it measures up as... Health care is the single issue that Democrats have a 35-point advantage on. President Trump is trying to do everything he can to narrow that down. We've taken a position so far, and the candidates have, through the process, a few have not, about on basically Medicare for all, which is we're going to eliminate 150 million people's health care, and we're going to provide health care for people that just come over the border. That is an untenable position for the general election. I, as you know, George, I just biked around Lake Michigan nearly a thousand miles through Michigan and Wisconsin, two really important states. Nobody at a diner ran at me and said, take my health care away. Nobody. This is this is reckless as it relates to and you don't have to take the position to win the primary. And you're basically literally hindering yourself for the general election. Rahm Emanuel, with the ridiculous corporate talking points that uh, somehow this is an untenable position for the Democratic primary and you will lose in the general election running on Medicare for all, and that somehow, uh, you know, he, ro he rode a bike around Wisconsin and Michigan, and at the diners, people weren't coming up to him, telling him, like, I want to keep my private health insurance. First of all, who the hell would go up to Rahm Emanuel at a diner anyway? Would you? To say something nice? Secondly, secondly, why would people just randomly go up to Rahm Emanuel at a diner and talk to him about health care. Why? The anecdote that he used makes no sense. Nobody cares about Rahm Emanuel enough to go up to him and give them their thoughts on the health care debate. You know, it's so un untenable, so untenable. And of course, George Stephanopoulos, uh, another idiot anchor who's not a real journalist, just, you know, left out, like, just the minor details that, oh, you know, Democrats more likely to support a candidate who backs Medicare for all over fixing Obamacare. As the Democratic presidential field continues to grapple with plans to address health care, a significant majority of Democratic voters are more likely to back a 2020 primary candidate who supports Medicare for all than building on the Affordable Care Act, a new poll found. According to Politico Morning Consult, 65% of Democratic primary voters would more likely would more likely support a candidate who wants to institu institute a single payer health care system like Medicare for all. 13% said they'd be less likely to back a candidate based on that support. By the way, this is just one poll. There's plenty of other polls that show the majority of Democrats, the majority of independents, and the majority even of Republicans support Medicare for all. And the polls where it doesn't do well, the wording makes it sound like tyranny, like you're, you know, would you support your, your health insurance be taken away? And they count that as people not being for Medicare for all. So this bullshit, this lie, it's a lie. It's propaganda from Rahm Emanuel that the majority of, de you know, the majority, it's untenable. The people don't want this. The people, it's just not true. And of course, ABC doesn't, doesn't point this out because it's not in their interest to point it out. Their parent company, ABC's parent company, they don't want a single payer healthcare system. The, the people that uh, are behind corporate media are, are with Wall Street. And Wall Street loves the health insurance industry because they're invested in the health insurance industry. That's why this Medicare for all discussion never has the actual numbers or facts. They just put negative numbers that are usually cherry picked and they leave out the overwhelming ma majority of polls that favor a government run healthcare system. And the interesting thing to me, he's also saying, and, and, and Jake Tapper, Bernie Sanders, kind of slapped Jake Tapper around in the last debate saying, Jake, you're using a Republican talking point, saying, oh, 150 million people have their healthcare taken away. The system, first of all, 
Bernie Sanders Medicare for All plan, which a lot of people think this is too too much, is phased in over four years. It's the first year, it goes down to people 55. Next year, 45. Next year, 35. Next year, everybody. Everybody remaining. That, whose health care is going to be taken away? Nobody's. You would have to wait. If you have private health insurance and you are those ages, the, those younger ages, you would have to wait. Your turn, basically. But nobody is going to have a, a period where they have no health insurance uh, when the private health insurance industry would be greatly, greatly diminished and borderline eliminated under Bernie Sanders. Nobody's going to say like, oh, you'll have to wait three months. So you're not going to have health insurance for three months between when uh, your private plan e ends and when you get your government health care plan. Nobody, Rahm Emanuel, none of them have actually proven that you're going to have to wait or you're going to be without health care because it's not true. Because it's not true. And this is this is what Republicans do, and this is what Fox News do. They try to scare the living hell out of people and scare them into submission of the status quo. Scare them into submission for the status quo. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statusquo.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statusquo.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you.